Okay, so we're looking at the first difference here is 1, I'll do it in reader, 1, 5, 9, 13, thank you, and 17. So that's the first difference. Okay, it's not the same, so we carry on. 4, 4, 4, 4, that's the second difference. Okay, if you get to the second difference, you're talking about f squared. Okay, you halve that first difference there, the side the second difference, halve it, and put that in front of f squared. So g, that's d squared in this case. Right, d squared, and we put 2 in front of it. Fair enough? Yes. yes. Good, okay, right here. Fantastic. Okay, now we take this back, and we've got to find out the number that would exist if d was 0. All right, what would g equal? Right, so following this pattern here, if the... The difference here is 4, then the difference here will be negative 3, therefore this number here will be positive 6. Alright, that goes at the end. <laughs> 6 plus negative 3 is 3. Okay, 3 plus 1 is 4. We're just following this pattern backwards. Okay, now, next box goes around here. D goes there, we need to find the answer in terms of D. Okay, so we pick one of them, take number 3, it's nice and easy. 3 squared is times 2, 18, alright. Plus 6 is 24, but I need to get the number 9, so I need to take away how much? 9. 9 plus what is 24? Oh, um, 15. 15, good, thank you. 15. How do I express 15 in terms of 3? 5, Five lots of D. And it's take away. Alright? So our final answer to this problem is G equals 2D squared minus 5D plus 6. And that should be the answer.